Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Queen City Diecast. I have a quick uh, uh, new set to bring you guys, or at least as much of the new set as I could find. I have eight of the 10 2019 Walmart exclusive American Truck Series. I'm missing, unfortunately, the Chevy Silverado, the 83 Chevy Silverado. And I left the, uh, the newer Dodge Power Wagon on the pegs because I didn't like it. So there you go. But I want to show you all the other ones in the set. We're going to crack them open, take a look, and uh, I hope you will comment and give me your thoughts below. All right, let's jump right into it. All right, uh, we'll try to do them in order. Let's see here. Sorry, it takes me a second to get organized. You have those there. Ba -ba. And then we'll get three and four. Sorry, there, one, two, three, four, six, seven, six, seven, and then we got nine and ten. So we got one, two, three, and four, we're missing five, we've got six and seven, we're missing eight, but we have nine and ten. Okay, thanks for bearing with me on that. All right, number one out of the set, there are ten cars in the set. Uh, the first one is the 40 Ford pickup, there's the car art, which is pretty rad all things considered um there's no name on this set it doesn't say walmart 2019 classic truck series so that's kind of what it's uh become actually does it say up here no it doesn't even say on the back hey there's an idea of what's in the set could not find the 83 chevy silverado i went to multiple stores I actually found these at three different stores no silverados and i didn't pick up the power wagon because i didn't like it so there you go all right, so there you have the 44 pickup. Let's go ahead and crack this beast. We can get her open. Sorry about the camera there. All right, let's take a closer look here. Check it out. We got this nice green metallic paint. Cool three side tampos. Um, we've got the left and right, of course. Let's get a little up close and personal. There we go. Of course, it's the 44, so they put the 40 on there. You also have roof tampos, which is nice. Metal body on plastic base. Um, and I actually picked up the other day a couple other 40 Fords. Just so you know, there are other flavors out there. So check those guys out. Um, so be on the lookout for those if you like that model, that casting. So there you go. That's number one of 10, the 40 Ford pickup in this uh, lime metallic green. Set that over there. All right, number two out of 10 is the 49 Ford F1. Looks like a step side variety there. Here's your card art. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, I like the fact that this blister doesn't go all the way up into the card art, because I might save this card art um, just because it seems really neat to me. All right, let's crack this guy open. Let's see if we can do it without ruining the card art. And we did all right. I don't usually save card art, but I thought it would be kind of cool to maybe display, you know, cut those out and maybe display a few of them somehow. All right, here we go. The 49 Ford F1, I believe. Let me double check that, make sure I got that all right. I believe that's what it was, 49 Ford F1. And this gold is, is off the chain. Look at that sparkle on that gold. And you got these really cool, again, three side tampos, left, right. You got the hood and the roof. Simple but clean, which is nice. Nothing over the top. I have a few of these trucks as well down in the, uh, down in the display. So there you go. If you really like these uh, late 40s trucks, this is one you definitely want to keep an eye out for. All right, so that guy up there. All right, number three, uh, we did not have, nope, I take that back. I do have number three, had them out of order. All right, this is probably my favorite out of this whole set, uh, even more than the Silverado. And this is the 70 Dodge Power Wagon. This particular model has become increasingly popular over the years. We last saw this, I believe, in the Mopar series from Walmart. It was black and yellow. And try as I might, I was never able to find one. I still don't have one, but I am on the lookout, and I have an extra one of these red American truck series ones to trade 
for a Mopar Series one. If anybody wants to do that, drop a comment down below. Uh, but here you go. This is the red and white uh, 70 Dodge Power Wagon. There's the card art. Huh? Pretty cool, right? Those 70s era trucks are just, they just look so just powerful. So I'm um, pretty excited to have this in the collection. Would love to get some other power wagons for the collection as well, but no such luck yet. Let's get a closer look at this guy, huh? All right, look at that. Three side tampos again, left, right, and hood. This thing is nice. It's, it's heavy, it's substantial, it's big, which I really appreciate. The wheels are okay on it. That's what we've seen a lot of these 4x4 wheels lately. Uh, plastic base, which I would have really, really dug if this was a metal base on a metal body. And in fact, the, let me pull the card back, the 83 Chevy Silverado, to the best of my knowledge and understanding from this set, is actually metal on metal, which is probably why it's disappeared so quickly. So keep an eye on that. This thing would have been off the charts with a metal on metal construction, but it's still really, really rad, and I'm stoked to have it uh, in my collection. So you have it, the 70 Dodge Power Wagon, number three out of 10. All right, number four out of 10. We're moving up to the bit more modern. So we had the 40, the 49, and the 70. Well, now we're jumping all the way through time up into 2015 uh, with the 2015 Ford F-150. See that there? It's a nice uh, casting that I have quite a few of. There's your card art. Pretty rad looking. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Look at that little detail right there. Look at that. Look at the HW. I'll have to look on the casting and see if that's in there. If that is, that is a cool, cool little detail. Let's go ahead and crack her open. All right, let's see. No, it's not on the truck itself. That's a bummer, because that would have been a really rad detail. But a very cool casting. Check that out. Three side tampos, left, right hood. Actually, I would even go, well, I guess it's on the back. You got the tail lights. Anything on the front? No. But there you go. Really, really cool F-150. If you collect F-150s, this is a rad piece to have as well. Similar uh, 4x4 off-road tires that we saw on the Power Wagon. Rolls very nicely, as most of these newer castings do. Cool, clear uh, sunroof there, so you can really see all the interior. Yeah, there's quite a bit of detail in there. Pretty rad. There you go, the 15 Ford F-150. All right, moving on to number six. Now we missed number five out of the out of the set. That was the 83 Chevy Silverado. So moving on to number six, which is one of my favorites out of this set as well. I gotta tell you, I really, really love almost all of these out of the set, except for that new Power Wagon, which I don't like. But here you have number six out of the set. There is the card art. Check it out. There is the truck itself. It is the Path Beater. I have several of these in my collection as well, some of the older ones. Again, this would have been rad with a metal-on-metal metal construction. Uh, I believe I have some that are metal-on-metal. Metal. I have to go down to the display and take a look. Let's go ahead and crack this open. So far, these come out of the package very nicely. You know, sometimes they, get, they peel off and they don't come out. It's really a pain. Okay, there you go. The Surf Rescue Path Beater. Three side tampos again which is just awesome. I love the tampo work on these this set. Surf Rescue, look at those pinstriping on the hood and the top. You got the side. This is a great looking car. Great looking car. Great wheels, looks nice. The gold is an interesting choice on the rims, but uh, I don't know, somehow it, it works, it seems like. There you have it. Path Beater, number six of 10. All right. And we've got three more, let me move this guy back. We've got three more to go. Moving on to number seven of 10, one of my favorite truck castings of all time when I collect, but it's becoming increasingly more difficult to get a hold of. And it is the custom 62 Chevy pickup. There is the car itself. There is our car art. Check that out. So that's another one I might try to keep in display because I really do enjoy this casting. 
Check that out, huh? The artwork on this set is really quite rad. I mean, look at this Surf Rescue one, too. I mean, that's, that's cool artwork. It really, really is. Sometimes the artwork is just as impressive and enjoyable to see as the actual model itself. Sometimes it's better. All right, let's crack this guy open. Being careful here to hopefully preserve the card art a little bit. Oh, yeah, that cracked off very nicely. I mean, look at that. Whenever it cracks off like that, that that's great. I think uh, all of us love that when that happens. All right, here we go. Custom 62 Chevy. Check it out. Uh, this blue, this, this, this light enamel blue is just great. Clear windshield, chrome interior. Of course, it leads into the bed as well, the chrome bed. Look at that with this blue and white and dark blue. Or is it purple? Let's take a closer look. I can't tell. I think it, it might be purple. Blue and uh, silver, white, purple. I mean, this thing really is rad. Three side tampos again. Gosh, what a cool looking truck, huh? What a cool looking truck. There you have it. That was number seven of ten from the set. Check that out, huh? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I hope you guys can find this set. It's going pretty quick from the store, so so please head out to your local Walmarts and uh, check it out because it's uh, it is definitely a cool set to have. All right, number nine of ten, the custom '69 Chevy pickup. Check this guy out in this this uh, flake purple. Gosh, that's cool looking with the PR fives. I believe those are PR fives anyway. All right, there's our card art. Again, great artwork. Beautifully drawn there. 69 Chevy pickup. Crack this guy. See if we can get it to come off as cleanly as the 62 did. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. All right. Let's get a closer look at this guy. Look at that paint, huh? Look at that paint. A little bit of wear on the top from rubbing on the card, but that's all right. Look at that paint. Man, that's got a great look to it. And these tampos, I'll have to go downstairs and look, but these tampos are very reminiscent to me of the uh, the uh, most recent uh, Little Red, Ex big Little Red Express, whatever it's called. I don't have that similar tampo, if I'm not mistaken. Well, look at this thing, huh? Man, if I saw this rolling down the road, I'd be, I'd turn my head. Tell you that much. Pretty rad. There you have it, the 69. Yeah, the, uh, the 69 there in purple. Pretty cool. All right, that's number nine of 10. We've one to go. All right, and again, I couldn't find the Chevy Silverado, although I'm still on the lookout. If you uh, have one and you want to trade it for one of these power wagons, you let me know, because I've I have two, well, I only have one extra power wagon. I'd like to trade it for either the Mopar power wagon or the Chevy Silverado from this set. Um, but you never know. All right, number 10 of 10 from this set is the 63 Studebaker Champ. This is not a casting I'm very familiar with. Um, I'm not sure what the history of the release is on this casting. I'll have to look that up online. But I got to tell you, this thing is rad. The way they did this in the white with the black and red livery. You got some racing decal on there. Champion and Goodyear. Studebaker on the end. This is a cool looking truck. So there you have it. The 63 Studebaker Champ. There's our card art. Mm, pretty rad. Pretty rad. Let's go ahead and crack. Let's see if we can get it off the card relatively easily. We did. All right, guys, check it out. Let's get up close and personal here. 63 Studebaker Champ. Pretty cool truck. It's got this bed cover on here. Traditionally, I'm not a huge fan of solid bed covers like that, but you know what? It works on this truck. Look at that front. Pretty cool looking. Very unique looking trunk. Or trunk. Truck. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Three side tampos, of course. Left, right, and top. Very cool. Very, very cool, 63 Studebaker Champ, there you have it. All right, guys, that is eight of the 10 from the truck series. Which one's my favorite? Gotta be the Power Wagon so far. Gotta be the Power Wagon. 
This thing is just so substantial. And I just really, really like the feel of it. I love the look of it. Just a cool looking workhorse type truck. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you uh, seeing the video. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this set, uh, which ones you have uh, found, if any, and uh, which ones you're still looking for. And then, of course, if you would, please subscribe to the channel, like this uh, video as well, and hit the little bell for notifications so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. I appreciate your viewership, and as always, good luck hunting out there. And until next time, take it easy.